Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and we're back with the Voyo V3 Mini PC. I think I got the name of it right this time. And we're back with a third discussion of this product now. And this, this should be a little bit of a warning sign. Remember I said that this was a buy at your own risk PC. So we're gonna be continuing this discussion now uh, because we have made some positive progress. However, uh, there are some other things to be mindful of in the process here. So here's the deal. So when we first installed this thing and turned it on, it had a pre-built user that was an administrator called Voyo. And when you turned on the computer, would just log you right in with that account and they disabled user account control on the computer meaning that a lot of the security controls were basically disabled which is not a good thing for a retail PC I, I was very nervous about that so what I decided to do because a lot of people were also nervous about that hearing my uh, thoughts on that during the review is I decided to try and install a fresh copy of Windows uh, using the Microsoft Media Creation Tool, which is the best way and easiest way to get a fresh copy of Windows. It downloads it, loads it right onto a, a USB stick. You can stick the stick in the computer, boot it up, and install a fresh copy of Windows, which is what I did. Uh, and when I did that and went to go and activate Windows, it told me that my product key was blocked. Now, the way Windows works now is they keep a, a database of hardware identification numbers pretty much from every computer in the world that is allowed to access Windows legitimately. And for some reason, it was saying this one was blocked which was a big, big warning sign for me. And I went out on the weekly wrap-up video on Monday night to tell you all about that. And I got a great comment here from Jason Alec, who uh, has told me that he's run into this problem before and that Microsoft actually came up with a version of Windows called Home China uh, that was used to help combat piracy. And uh, it's basically a cheaper edition of Windows that they market in the Chinese market. And uh, that version is probably what I need to install instead of the English US version. So I went out to the media creation tool again, downloaded the Chinese version of Windows 10. And uh, sure enough, that one showed up activated. In fact, I've got the computer up right now. I'll go over to our little Windows 10 screen here and you can see Windows is activated. Now you're gonna notice this is all in English despite the fact that we have a Chinese version of Windows installed at the moment. And that's because you have to go and grab the Chinese language pack. And one of the things that Jason speculated in in his comment on the video uh, was that perhaps they created a user so that they could go and do that for you because otherwise you have to kind of wade through all these menus in Chinese to get to that language pack, which is probably what happened here. Why they disabled user account control is a mystery. They probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, but the good news is this is a fully licensed copy of Windows. However, uh, when I did install the uh, fully licensed version of Windows from a fresh installation, I lost a lot of my device drivers, including Wi-Fi and audio. And apparently Windows 10 does not have these Cherry Trail system on a chip drivers just yet. Uh, so at the moment, I can't use this with Wi-Fi. My USB uh, Ethernet adapter did work with it, uh, but my audio isn't working either. So I'm trying to now track down those drivers. Intel doesn't just put them up on the web. I guess, at least I haven't found them yet. So if you know where I can find some, uh, let me know. I'll grab them and put them back on here. So there's a couple more things that I definitely want to test out with this PC uh, moving forward here. And right now it's not up to its full potential, just given that half the device drivers aren't currently working on it uh, after I reinstalled Windows. Now I have reached out to uh, Voyo through the Geek Buying website where I bought this thing from. Uh, when I first asked if they had a fully licensed version of Windows installed on the, on the device, they responded uh, very, very quickly to the affirmative that it was there. Uh, I'm now waiting about two or three days now since uh, I've contacted them post-sale to try to get some more information as to how to get this thing working again and they have not responded to me at all. I've emailed them as well as uh, went through the geek buying customer service thing and I've heard nothing yet. So I may try to go find a way to contact them directly uh, over in China. This is exactly the problems that you run into uh, when you buy one of these no-name uh, overseas brands because the customer support is not going to be there for you when you run into trouble. So if you're buying one of these for grandma or something and uh, you know, you're going to rely on grandma to have her own uh, means of getting support. Uh, you're not going to get anywhere with these things and you're going to be spending a lot of time trying to fix it. So that's why I often recommend things like the Kangaroo Mini PC, which is made by a manufacturer who has a little bit more reach in uh, other parts of the world, including where I live here in the United States, than perhaps uh, Voyo will also. Now, Voyo does have a website, but this computer is not on it at all. I could not find any drivers even digging through their Chinese section of the website for this either. So uh, there was a driver package for a mini PC, but that one led to a 404 error. So I'm pretty much out of luck here until they get back to me. And again, this is the kind of stuff you deal with. And this is also why I made this a buy at your own risk kind of recommendation, because it is a nicely performing little PC. And if we can get my fresh copy of Windows to work, I'll be very happy. And I will show you more of what this thing can and can't do uh, when we get that going. But I just wanted to give you all an update on it just because I wanted to clarify uh, that Windows activation issue. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.
This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Shabib. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.